you better get that wallet ready because yes, there are a ton of new products launching this year. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Okay, so 2024 is shaping up to be possibly one of the most exciting years for PC gaming in the history of, well, ever. Because not only are there a ton of new CPUs coming out this year, but for the first time in a long time, we're also getting GPUs not just from two manufacturers but also Intel as well. So there's a lot of competition happening in 2024 and hopefully that is going to mean much better prices and much better performance for gamers across the globe. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and dive into what exactly is launching in 2024 and when roughly you can expect it. Now of course a lot of this does come from leaks and rumors and I will have all those linked in the description below but first starting off with the month that we're in right now as of the creation of this video well that's april and unfortunately as you can see well for the next couple of months it is going to be a little bit of a dry spell when it comes to releases but fear not i know that tiktok brain rot is setting in it's hitting me hard as well i got some information for you guys let's go ahead and start off with june that's right you will have to wait till june oh the horror but we should hopefully be getting some information in june about the ryzen 9000 series processors based on the upcoming zen 5 micro architecture which is going to be an absolutely insane jump if the leaks and rumors are to be believed i mean we're we're hearing stuff about like 40% faster than our current Ryzen 7000 series CPUs, even in some single threaded benchmarks. So not only are these things probably going to be an absolute beast when it comes to multi-core workloads, but even in gaming, these could be a significant leap over our current processors. Now, the reason as to why I do believe you will hear something in June is because, well, what's happening in June? That's right, Computex. And it is pretty frequent that we do see some information at Computex tech so i wouldn't be too surprised if you do hear something again about zen 5 but not only zen 5 you might even hear some information around computex when it comes to intel's battle mage now of course this is not confirmed and it could be a longer wait than that but i do think we'll at least hear some murmurs around that time and hopefully intel finally comes out and says yes battle mage is on track and maybe even gives us some very very rough performance estimates or a rough release window at that time but speaking of release window let's go ahead and move on to the next bit of releases now as you can see here in july you're probably not going to see anything although maybe you could see something around ryzen 9000 however i do think the ryzen 9000 9950x and 9900x will be releasing in august simply because they are probably going to need at least a month buffer for them to be fully ready however i do think they're going to want to get them out in a timely manner before intel gets their cpus out to drive the narrative and hype now the reason as to why i think they'll start with the dual chiplet designs is because well they're probably going to want to take advantage of the people who are really really excited for these processors and try and get as many people as possible to buy cpus that they maybe don't need at a higher price we've seen them do it in the past with the x3d processors and i think it worked so i think they're going to try and do that again to maximize profits now i do also think we're going to see at that time the intel arrow lake cpu announcement this is going to be their next generation of cpus and it's also sounding like this could be a big improvement when it comes to the power consumption and multi-core performance but also they're doing some pretty sneaky things with their architecture that i do think could lead to some pretty substantial performance gains when it comes to gaming as well so once again we could be talking about intel and amd being neck and neck when it comes to gaming performance and having a whole heck of a lot of it probably some of the biggest jumps that we've seen in the history of cpus for a very very long time but now let's move on to the next month because things get even spicier as we go on as it is sounding like in september there could be an absolute slew of releases now assuming that all the cpus are not released in august we'll probably be seeing the remaining 9800x 9600x a battle mage announcement i think possibly in september which 
is going to be very, very exciting because, guys, Battle Mage is shaping up to be absolutely crazy in terms of price to performance. I mean, we could be talking about something that's between $350 to $450, giving us the performance of somewhere between a 4070 and an RTX 4080. So it'll be really interesting to see where it finally lands, and I cannot wait to see more information hopefully sooner rather than later but also we should be seeing all the intel cpus such as the core ultra 290k 270k and 260k but now let's go ahead and talk about the next month so in october here's where things i think are going to get really exciting for gamers because yes the rtx 5090 can you believe it announcement could be happening in October. Very, very exciting stuff, guys. So we'll see whether or not that turns out to be the case, but a ton of leakers, including Red Gaming Tech, are alluding to the idea that the RTX 5090 will be out by the end of this year, and October would be a great time to see that happen. So moving on to the next month, here in November, here's where the GPU launches are really gonna start. ARC B980, the flagship Battle Mage GPU, should be releasing in November, hopefully to bring competition to the RTX 4080 at potentially half the price or less if all goes to plan. Then also we should be seeing the RTX 5090, which by the way, the 5090 is looking insane. Leaks and rumors are suggesting that we could be seeing, you know, 50, 60, 80% more performance and rasterization than the RTX 4090, which is already incredibly powerful. Yet we could be talking about anywhere between 1.5 to 2.5 times the performance in terms of ray tracing depending on how the architecture shapes up. And I will make a video on how NVIDIA could potentially be actually reaching two and a half times the performance with the RTX 5090 in the future. So be sure to drop a like if you want to see that as well as subscribe. And also put in the comments below, do you really think that NVIDIA can reach two and a half times the performance or do you think that's just too much? But it doesn't stop there, guys. No, we should also be seeing the RDNA 4 announcement. And I'm also very excited for RDNA 4 as this is also going to be a series of GPUs that's going to be focusing in on price to performance. Moving on to the next month here, here's where I think over in December, you're really going to start to see basically the rest of the launches for the year when it comes to GPUs. Although, of course, there will be some trickling in into 2025 as well. But we're talking about this year. Here we should see the ARC B970, which is gonna be the cut down B980 Battle Mage GPU, the RTX 5080 potentially, if it's not pushed off into quarter one 2025, then also the RDNA 4 based RX 8800 XT, 8700 XT, and then potentially we could be seeing some information on Zen 5 X3D or Ryzen 9000 X3D. And I think a lot of people are gonna be very excited about that. Although we could potentially see that get pushed off into quarter one and have them talk about it during CES as that would be a good time as well. So as you can see, guys, there's a ton of stuff launching this year. Yes, this month and next month, you're probably not gonna see a whole lot of information on new stuff. We will see some leaks and stuff like that, of course, but nothing official probably for the next couple of months. But once these couple of months pass, I think you're gonna start to see a ton of information coming out from all of these different manufacturers when it comes to graphics and CPUs. And I I'm super excited for this stuff, guys, especially considering that games are getting more and more GPU and also now CPU demanding, which has made me feel like, yes, I'm definitely going to need a new CPU for some of these upcoming games, especially if they're not optimizing them well. But yeah, I'm really excited for everything. But what are you guys excited for? Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited for the RTX 5090? Are you excited for RDNA 4? Or maybe even Battle Mage or heck, a new CPU? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.